What's going on everybody? It's the real JV again. And today we're gonna do a Nexus 6 running Android 7.0 bypassing the FRP using the dirty cow method I discovered. So let's get started. So like usual, we'll go vision settings and turn down the volume so we don't have to hear the talkback lady start yelling. Enable talkback. Hold both volume buttons and turn off this warning. So hold both volume buttons again and swipe down right and do text to speech settings. Then you can turn off the uh, talk back again. If you swipe in from the left, you can get to the settings menu. Now, what I'm gonna do is attach my Bluetooth keyboard so that I don't have to type everything out by hand. It's a little bit quicker. Okay. So then go down into security and enable unknown sources. Now just like with the Google Pixel video, you're gonna to wanna to have a USB and a USB uh, USB OTG adapter or a cable, they both work the same. You can uh, come up here into storage and you'll see the USB right here. These are the same files that are in the uh, download in the description. So We'll go show internal storage and just copy everything over there. So highlight everything and go copy to. Show internal storage. Here we go. Copy to your download folder. And then Install Apex Launcher. This just makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so now go back into your downloads. And install Terminal Emulator. And by now, since everything's copied, we can just unplug the USB. Okay, so you're, you're gonna wanna CD home. And then cat SD card download gam, gam6.apk greater than gam6.apk. Then also cat SD card download decal arm eabi or no no sorry move <laughs> then arm eabi dash b7a 30 cal greater than we'll just call it decal okay ls make sure we got our files now we're going to touch file and also echo one two three four five six seven eight eight f's and two greater than signs into file and then ch mod seven 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 all okay clear so now run decal gam 6.apk over system private app google login service google login service dot apk okay and then we're going to decal file over system private app google login service 
out arm google login service dot odex okay and then from here go back back install gam7 apk And then open up terminal again. And we're going to do the same thing to the new location of Google Account Manager. So, since I'm using the keyboard, I can just hit up. The up arrow will cycle through the last commands you just wrote. So, The new location is going to be data app com dot google dot android dot gsf dot login dash one and it's going to be called base dot apk okay Now we're going to do the same thing, but to on base dot odex in the same location. Except instead of using GAN6, we're going to use that file. Okay. So go back. Go back into download. Install GAM7 one more time. Okay. Then go back. Open up settings. Apps. Google Account Manager right here. So say disable. Disable. Yes, replace the factory version. It should say uninstall failed. Yep. And also, you go to enable it again, it'll change the icon. So disable it one more time. Sure, fail. Go back into your storage. Explore. Download. Gam. Install Gam7 one more time. go back to your apps you see right here change the name so now we'll say uninstall and it's gone so from there we can go in to GAM install GAM6 APK and it should work what do you know okay so now we're gonna use root junkies FRP bypass APK Make sure to thank him for that, because this is uh, pretty extremely useful. Open it up. Come up here in the browser sign-in. Oh yeah. Should probably connect the Wi-Fi first, huh? So then, open up FRP Bypass. Browser sign-in. And then just sign in with a Google account you have. There we go. Okay. Now make sure you go back into your storage and install GAM7 again. Because we want it to be the original version. Otherwise, Setup Wizard will fail. Okay. Now, you can just reboot the device. I'm going to speed up this part of the video.
Okay, now that we're back, turn talk back off. And then just proceed through setup as you would normally. There we go. There's our new account. What the hell is wrong with you two? And there we go. And if we go down to settings, you'll see that it's running Android 7.0 on the last security patch that this method is vulnerable on. So, definitely, it can be done. Again, it's the Nexus 6. Uh, make sure you subscribe, just so you can get all the updates whenever I come up with a new video for a new method. Uh, I am working on a December update patch method. Might be a little bit before I can figure it out. Um, I'm waiting until the new January 5th updates come out to kind of get an idea of what's possible. But just to finish this one off real quick, come into here and enable OEM unlock, which for those of you that don't know, this disables factory reset protection. So there you have it. Enjoy. <laughs>